Hello and welcome Virgo to your February 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. Now you're watching Thomas's Tower readings please like subscribe and share if you like my work. You can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we do here Virgos is we have a look at your overall energy or the overall energy for your sign for the month of February 2023 before we then move uh, into your emotional core, which means we will look at whether or not there's love coming in, um, healing needs to happen, that sort of stuff. Um, before we lastly then move into opportunities, and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially, right? And if the, ch if the, if the guides change the tune, medium means the guy in the middle, I only work here. <laughs> so, Virgos, are you ready? Let's do this. So, let's have a look. I already shuffled the deck numerous times. There's a card falling out for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's very funny. Very funny. Anyway, Virgos, your energy is Aries. It's a depiction of it. The Aries is the first sign, and the message here is act. Because you're a sign that doesn't really um that knows how to deal stress with, with stress quite well, you're you're quite um Quite a sign that can handle stress very well, <clears throat> right? Um, and it has served you very likely very well in your life, but you're not immortal. Well, we are immortal, but, but the point is you're not super invincible either. So what the guides are saying is you have Aries. With regards to the overall energy for the entire month of February, you are being asked to be proactive and see what you want, go for what you want, and alter what doesn't work for you by saying it. Really, really important. You have to say it. Really important for you to understand that. That doesn't mean you have to be aggressive. The reason why sometimes you can lose your cool is because you speak up too late. right? And the issue here, having the Aries energy in your sign, is that Aries is the first sign in a zodiac, which means Aries as an energy has got nobody to turn, no one to turn to. So at times this month you will feel like you're pretty much on your own, but it's not supposed to scare you. It's supposed to show you, yeah, even when I don't have many people around me and many support, you know, bubbles around me, you'll be just fine. But you have to act on the things that are not working, that are a bit stale and go for the things you really want. So this is your overall energy for the month of February 2023. And now we're moving into your emotional core and you have Taurus. Now remember, these obviously are, are astrology cards, so they obviously show the signs, the houses and the planets. Now, because uh, Taurus, he says, cultivate, what the guides are saying, this is about intimate relationships. It's about who you want to love and how you want to be loved. And cultivate means that, and you know that already because you're a deep sign, right? You have to not only put the work in, but you also have to allow it to just play out a little without being too safe, right? So don't try to read people up front. <coughs> it may not help. <coughs> and because you have cultivate as the issue or as the topic for your uh, love life, so to speak, what the guides are saying is this month it's about making it work and cultivating a unit that gels and harmonizes itself by just being in its, in its presence. Now, that sounds easier said than done, and very likely it is, but what you're not asked to do, again, you have free will, right? And if you are in a relationship with a total prick, by all means, <laughs> you know, let him go or her. But you understand that the point the guides are making here is in the month of February for the sign of Virgo, you are not asked to necessarily stick to things that aren't working, but if there is love left, and if you feel like, yeah, okay, then give it your all and don't give up, right? Cultivate what you have and make sure that all angles are covered, all bases are covered, which means if there's anything you really don't like or that hurts you in any shape and form, communication is the key. So Virgos, that's what I got for you um, with regards to your emotional core for the month of February 2023. You're watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yana. Please like, subscribe and 
share. Now, with regards to opportunities, this is not going to be a super <laughs> powerful month for the sign of Virgo because you have retrograde and review. So before you make any changes to what sustains you financially, before you make any changes about um, your life as such, the guides are saying is stop a little, right? Which is a retrograde aspect. And reflect on how happy am I in this position? So does it make sense to go to the same job just in another company, right? Or is it time for me to look at something I haven't done before? The point you're, the guides are making is um, reflect, really, really reflect and also review how you got into the position you're now, right? So the choices you made that have to do with whatever it is you do, even if you're self-employed, you have to still make choices, right? Um, so have they worked for you? Which areas are working? Which areas are a bit dodgy, right? So rather than just following any new lead that could get you somewhere, stop a little and go like, let me just reflect, where am I in the scheme of things? That will serve you much better this very month. Okie dokie, Virgo, thank you so much for watching and I see you next month.